So you click this video because you're interested in making some can of butter. I'm going to help you out here with a nice simple recipe. We're using the crock pot method today, so it's easy, but you're going to need to have time on your hands. I'm using about two and a half ounces of trim and shake here. You can use flour if you'd like. I would do personally about a half ounce to an ounce, depending on potency and what you're looking for. You can use rosin chips. You can use already vaped weed. You can do keef if you want. You can use distillate. I mean, there are tons of options here. I'm just going to go ahead, decarb this. If you're using flour or anything, you're still going to decarb it and uh, make sure that cannabis is activated. Once we do that, we're going to add it to the butter in the crock pot. We're using a pound of butter today, the Kerrygold, my favorite quality butter. Then we will add our water to that. Let it chill, sit back, smoke, enjoy your day, work, whatever you got to do. Let the crock pot do the work on that low temperature. You can go anywhere from like three to 10, even 12 hours. My sweet spot I'd say is about six to eight hours. And that's the beauty of this. You can kind of take it out, but I believe kind of the longer you go, the better it's going to be to a certain extent. You don't want to overcook it and you don't want to put it on medium and go away for too long. So just be careful, but let's get into this. Let's go ahead, decarboxylate that two and a half ounces. Actually a little more, 40 minutes, 240 degrees. Let's melt that butter on low before we add the decarbed cannabis. Make sure it's fully melted, stir it up nicely before we add the H2O. Now, the reason for the H2O is it's high quality purified water. And high quality purified water has more than one effect. See, it's going to cleanse it. It's going to absorb anything else besides what we want to do. And also it's going to provide a more stable boiling point. But water's the devil, no, I'm just kidding. Shout out water boy. And then we're going to go ahead and stir it, you know, every hour, hour and a half, two hours if you're lazy and high. Make sure it's on low the whole time. So five hours, 40 minutes in, it's looking dark, ready to go. I'm going to stir it, but I'm also going to leave it turned off, absorbing its own heat. And as you can even see when I take it out here, it's still hot, it's still holding that temperature. It's still kind of internally cooking. I'm geeking out on this. But you're gonna let it sit there. You can go ahead, push it through using a spatula. And then I actually got some uh, gloves today. Those weird yellow gloves, you know what I'm talking about. Those weird dish gloves, some curious George shit. But this shit is hot still. So I'm happy I planned ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna twist it out. Get all that goodness, everything I want. Let's cover it up. Put it in the refrigerator. You can let it set for like an hour if you want. I'm just gonna go to bed, I'm tired. And I'm gonna strain it out, I'm gonna poke some holes, let all that water get out of there. And you can see how dark it is when I'm saying it gathers those impurities. And then we're gonna set it on the paper towels, dry it out, and I'm gonna put it back in the refrigerator on a fresh set of paper towels to absorb any further moisture. But the cannabis butter is ready to be consumed. Let's get medicated. If you wanna see me use this in a recipe, check out the peanut butter bites recipe I previously posted. Thanks for chilling on True Buds TV. It's always good to have you here. Remember we're dropping videos at least two a week, so stay tuned for more and I'll catch you next video.